and we're back in this video we're going to do a deployment build for a PC the process for Mac is is basically identical but for selecting uh, Mac instead of PC there's a very few settings that are required to make this happen there's a number of options that you can set if you want to but uh, very little that's actually required so let's get to it so the first thing we're going to do is come to the file menu to the build settings and by default it's probably going to be set on PC and Mac standalone and either Windows or one of the Mac OS's which is where you want it uh, we're really we could just hit build at this point and and build the game but we're gonna look at one more thing before we do that and that is this button down here at the bottom called player settings so we click that and over here in the inspector we've got uh, some settings now the default icon here this is uh, looks like one of those texture things in fact it says texture 2d and what that is is the image that will show as the screen icon for the game now by default this is going to be the unity icon that little cube uh, stylized cube icon that uh, unity has but you can substitute something else just by dragging it here uh, that's uh, you know your choice if you've got something you want then uh, go right ahead and use it they have to be small and uh, you know 32 by 32 64 by 64 is probably the range you want to stay in these next buttons here are actually a, kind of a second way to select either your PC Mac build or your web build you see going back and forth shows uh, settings for PC and Mac and the web settings next set section here has to do with default screen resolution that's the sort of the game build size and we we talked about this before that uh, the game could be built to different standards different sizes uh, you know the, you can uh, set it up a number of ways now we've got this uh, display resolution dialog this can be enabled or not if it's enabled that means the player actually has the option of changing the size that the the game comes up so we'll we'll show you how that looks when we when we actually build the game in a second so uh, that's that there's a few other settings here some of these are not uh, really available so, some are for uh, for use with the uh, the pro versions we can go into those later but let's just come back and let's just do a build here so click uh, click the button and we're going to build this we're going to uh, we're going to place it somewhere where we can find it so I'm just going to set it on the desktop and I'm going to call it FPS underscore test build so the system builds it out see the uh, different screens in the background there uh, as the build takes place okay and the system creates these two files one is the uh, the actual game executable called FPS underscore test build and it's got the little cube icon so we didn't set up any alternative icons and the other one is the data file that has to be deployed with it called FPS underscore data or test build underscore data which uh, are all the extra files necessary to make the game run so if you're uh, if you're deploying this if you're giving it to your friends if you're doing something like that be sure they get both of these so we can just double click on the executable here and here is the uh, here's the first screen you see this uh, this top area you could actually put an image and that's one of those other choices that we didn't spend much time talking about um, this is the splash screen kind of thing if you've got the pro version this is a little more elaborate what you can do with this 
Then down at the bottom, you've got your screen resolution. Remember, I said we could enable that or not to let the uh, let the user change what settings they have. Then graphics quality, they've got a few different choices depending upon uh, how strong they think their graphics card is. If they they come in and play it and the game is kind of lagging and not really keeping up with it, they can come back and throttle back their uh, their graphics quality a little bit. And the input tab here lets the user change some of these control settings, some of the uh, the buttons and keys and whatnot that are used to move the players around and fire. Now, next we have this splash screen. This main splash screen says powered by Unity. This is what comes up in the free version. If you have the pro version, you can uh, put your own logos in here instead. But uh, in the free version, that's what you've got. And then here's the game. So we enter and play and then uh, come in. We can fire at the uh, targets. Notice the uh, the score and some of these heads up displays. D depending upon how this is going to be deployed, again, we said you might want to make these a little smaller, position them a little bit different, but you don't really know that for sure till you get to this. So that's it. It's deployed. You can uh, adjust it, build another deployment copy, keep doing that, make little uh, micro adjustments till you've, you're comfortable with what you've got, and then roll it out to your friends. So that's, uh, that's it for a PC build. As we said, the Mac build is almost identical, but for selecting Mac instead of PC at that, uh, that first drop down. So we're going to end this video here and then we'll pick it up in the next one and look at web builds.